How's the show going? I've seen a couple of them, and uh, it's a, I think it's a great show. I think oh. Bob's very talented and very funny man, and you're delightful in the show. Oh, thank you. I love it. Well, it's your fault that I'm on that show anyhow. Somebody told me that one of the reasons, although we're not taking credit for it, that well, they, you saw, should. they you saw, saw you being an idiot here one night or something, <laughs> or acting like an idiot. No, in my usual style. No, uh, that's, that's the truth. The producers were looking for a girl, a woman, to play a woman, to play Bob Newhart's wife. And they happened the night Bob and I were on. Right. Which was pure coincidence. They saw me and I read the poem about being a football widow. And they said, right. there she is. There's the idiot. And that's how I wound up with the show. <laughs> that's great. The casting of Suzanne Plachette was key to us because she was totally the opposite of Bob in many ways. And yet she was soft and, and, and sensitive in certain areas. And yet she played mad great. Bob, I hate the way you argue. You're so casual. You never yell. I know why you're saying I never yell, because you want to yell, but you don't want to yell first. Oh, that's another thing that infuriates me. You always think you know why I'm saying what I'm saying. That is not true, and I know why you said that. Oh! Because before that, you know, it was always the wife who was smarter, and they were screaming, and they were yelling, and the husband was the putz, and you know. And, um, and often they didn't love each other. They did not love each other. And here we were, intellectually equal, married, loving people, who in moments of rest have this one annoying little thing they want to talk about. The bedroom scenes were some of the funniest we ever did. That was again a, a kind of a, a look at, at the way people actually relate. She's really serious about this, isn't she? Well, it happens to all psychology students. It happened to me. I was a sophomore at Loyola University. Can we reminisce later? Maybe tomorrow. It's getting late. Yeah, remind me to tell you about Amy sometime. So one of them would snap the lights off, and the light would go on, and the argument would get on. Bob, tell me about Amy. It's late, Emma. No, it's not. The society was changing so much that just the idea of having these two people in the same bed was virtually revolutionary on television. Some of the early shows that showed couples in bed were The Munsters and The Brady Bunch. Those kinds of shows were not aimed at adults, and that was completely different. Think of the marriage that we presented. It was very modern. You know, we're talking about 1972 to 1978. You had a working wife, you had a couple that were sexual, you had, although Bob wasn't too happy with that. Why don't we go out to dinner tonight? That'll be fun. No. Oh, why don't we go to the movies? Nah. Well, why don't we just go to bed early? <laughs> that movies isn't a bad idea. That was new ground at that time. And, uh, and no children. Carol's thinking about looking for a new job. I got creamed in Monopoly, and it was just a terrible day. Oh, then I guess now isn't a good time to tell you that I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> what? <laughs> Even though he's a family man extraordinaire and has four kids and loves them and worships them, he wanted to do a show about grown-ups and their foibles and their all the crazy things they get into. I, I don't want to be the stupid daddy who keeps getting himself in trouble and and then the wife and the kids huddle around and how, how are we going to get daddy out of this pickle he's gotten himself into? Any time uh, that, that subject came up, he and Suzanne both were, were just said, that's not our show. They, they were two mature adults who wanted to do a show about two mature adults. And at one point, they wrote a pregnant show. I called up the producer. I said, I read the script. And he said, what did you think of it? I said, I think it's very funny. It's a very funny script. He said, oh, good. We were, we were kind of concerned about it. I said, no, no, it's very funny. He said, oh, good. And I said, and who are you going to get to play Bob? <laughs> he said, oh, okay. Bob had a lot of input. When the show is called The Bob Newhart Show. <laughs> Bob is an intellect. It's Bob's view of the world. And he's very, very smart about staying very close to who he is or who he's most comfortable presenting himself as. We never intended 
to blaze a trail. We always just wanted to do an honest, real show about real people. 